Hello, in this Visual Basic programming tutorial, I am going to show you the radio button. So the radio button is, well, it's sort of like a button that you can select, but you can only select, you know, one at a time. And if you want to be able to select multiple, what you want is the checkbox. And I've got a separate video covering that. So the radio button is right here. So let's just drag that on. You can drag a few on. So let's just drag, I'll drag a total of four on. Drag a total of four on. Okay, so that is pretty cool now. Obviously, you can help you know reposition them a little better, you can change the text in them, all that stuff. But for the purpose of this video, we don't really need to. So by default, we got the first one selected. If I select that, as you can see, the other one just gets deselected. So we can't actually deselect one. One always has to be selected. And you know we can you know, change, go in here, select all the different properties that we normally would. But you can also do a check property. So if I put this one as true and run it now, hmm. that's weird. I'll select that one as this one. Let's have a look. Let's see what's happened here. Yeah, this is false. Why is that one selecting as true? Even though it's this one. And let's take a look at what I'm doing. Enabled equals true. Yes, that's good. So auto check. So look at this one. So have a look at the props of this one. See what this is saying. Cause the array button to automatically change state when clicked. Okay, we don't, that's, that's fine. Enabled, let's set this, to, no, we have to do one enabled. See what happens if I do set that to false. Yeah, that just you know basically disables it. Yeah, this is weird. And let's undo that chain that I just made. Let me try one last thing. And if we go to tab index, I'm actually gonna set set that to one. Now run it. Okay, that's fine. So you gotta change the tab index as well. And you know this works normally as it would. And in our code, what we can do, so if it's gone to the form. If we go to the radio button one dot, we can like select it manually ourselves. We can you know get the text from it, all of that cool stuff. So what I want you to do as an extra task, feel free to check out the combo and list box videos to help you. Is add a button, add a label when the button is clicked get the text from the selected radio button and put it into the label so might sound a bit complex but don't worry with the couple of videos that i just said check out you'll be fine and as usual if you have questions feel free to pop me a message and i will help you and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next programming tutorial